at 5. Good evening. The GE campus finally has a future, and the people who made it happen are just thrilled about it. But what about the people who live nearby? Last year, several focus groups were held to figure out what residents wanted to see at the site. So does this new plan fit in with what people want? Tonight, News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts is getting answers. She joins us now with what she found out. In these focus groups, people weren't asked specifically what they wanted to see, like a grocery store or lofts or what have you. They were asked what they value the most about the site. And what was announced yesterday aligns with what they said. I think everybody is just thrilled. Yes, I've heard from several people and everyone is very, very happy. It's been 24 hours since it was announced the developer, Cross Street Partners, will be buying the GE campus, preserving its history and turning it into a city within a city. That includes retail, office space, living, and even an education component. I think there's a good reason for people who were involved in this process, people who were part of the GE uh, task force, to be optimistic about what they heard. IPFW professor Andy Downs collected data from several hundred people during focus groups last year about the site. He says what people wanted to see was preservation of the architecture for the site to become a destination location and for it to be self-sustaining. All were the focus of yesterday's announcement. What people didn't want to do is sort of tie the hands of any developer by saying there has to be one plan. In fact, I think it probably expands a little bit on what people envision. We typically think of commercial and retail and residential. But my understanding is there may be something uh, along the line of education. Charlotte Waybright has lived in the nearby West Central neighborhood for more than 20 years. For the last two years, she's worked closely with District Councilman Jeff Paddock on the site. The West Central neighborhood has seen a boom lately. Paddock is most excited to see the same thing happen in other surrounding neighborhoods. When uh, General Electric thrived, uh, these neighborhoods thrived, and um, we think that that can happen again. This announcement was obviously a long time coming for residents. At one point, they thought they were taking on too much. But what changed during this process to make them believe in the project again? That's coming up at 6. Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.